Sharp Game here, coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com, off of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how a lot of women can't really, really handle masculine men. A lot of women just can't handle masculine men. And see, this has a lot to do with why so many women in this day and time has have to have two to three men you know they got they need a man for emotional support they need a man for the bomb ass sex and they need a guy that's a good provider because see a lot of women kind of live in a a fantasy la la world where everything ha is supposed to be perfect it's all image based it's all for show. Uh, she's the perfect uh, woman that has it all together um, amongst her friends. Everyone that she's around are, are basically in competition with each other. But they're doing it in a very passive, aggressive type of way. And see, if you try to tell a lot of women what I'm telling you right now, See, they have a hard time seeing the big picture in the big scheme of things. See, I always say, last I check, women don't rule the world. Women don't put themselves on the front lines of anything. <clears throat> but last I check, there's no women on the front lines in the army uh you know marines any of that now a couple weeks ago somebody told me they just passed uh this sign a bill or you know some legislation where women are going to be on the front lines eventually but it hasn't happened yet and even when even when that happens women aren't going to be the majority and it's a good reason for that and see, see, women kind of like to go back and forth. They like to play little games. You know, I always say if the door flies open at your house or if you hear something downstairs one night and you and the both of y'all in bed, uh, she, your woman going to be looking at you. She ain't getting up and going down. She's going to tell you go down there and see what's going on. You know, so a lot of women want to, you know, they play this independent game when they, you know, need help. But other than that, it's like, hey, I got it. You know, but you can't have it both ways. You know, you can't. There's some women out here that they don't even like when a guy tell them no. They just like a guy to just say yes to everything. It just doesn't work like that. That's not how life really works. You know, there's some, there's, it's going to be action. It's going to be, you have to take responsibility for your actions and you have to be accountable for your actions. You can't seek to blame everybody for things that happen to you when you gain weight, when you make bad decisions. There's consequences to everything. You can't blame, you know, the kids for not getting the education. You can't blame the kids for bad behavior. I mean, it's a lot of women today that they just don't seem to have standards. It's like, one of the things that I was told when I started to travel overseas is that a lot of guys used to always tell me that you Americans, you guys are soft. And I didn't really know what they meant by that. You know, I, I just thought it was, I just kind of let that go over my head or whatever. And I said, one day I asked him, what do you mean when you say that? He said, just the way y'all function in society, the way y'all treat women, put women on a pedestal just because or by default, just because she's a woman. And they say, the only, pe only people that they put on a pedestal over here where we from is that they have to earn it. 
we're not, nothing's given over here. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's a good point. You're right about that. You know, we there's a lot of that going on in America. And that's, and a lot of these women from these other countries come over here because they see what's going on over here. So they want, they want to be put on a pedestal too, which I'm not knocking them, but okay, knock yourself out, you know. But there's a lot that comes along with that too, which a lot of women don't take, take that into account as well. There's a price for everything. And, and see, it's like, you know, you, you just can't function like that in society. This is why you have so, so many problems with relationships between males and females. You know, you have like, the relationships are just broken today. I mean, marriages is like at an all time uh, debacle, really. I mean, it's just a, I mean, it, getting married today is like, for your marriage to really work today, you're going to have to be damn near secluded. You know, I mean, that's, I mean, if you live in a big city and you get married today, I mean, it's almost impossible for that shit to work. I mean, I just, it's just too many distractions. There's too much going on. You're going to have to be secluded in like a small little town. Out in the boondock somewhere for your marriage to work. Because if you live in a city, it's just too many damn options. And see, you have a lot of women out here today uh, are just, uh, I think a lot of women are afraid of guys on a certain level. So it's kind of like, you know, it, you know, they kind of, a lot of women kind of walk on eggshells around masculine guys. And this is why they they feel safe around beta guys. And I've heard, I've had women tell me this shit. They feel safe, you know. So I ask them what that really means. That means they feel comfortable around beta guys. They feel safe because they can, you know, they go shopping together. They can you know, negotiate and tell them what to do and, and you know, talk to them any type of way you want. But they're not going to talk to a masculine guy like that because a masculine, they're afraid what might happen to them. It's not, and it's not necessarily that she thinks that, uh, uh, that, that he might get physical with her. It's, it's the unknown that's, um, can be scary. You know, people are afraid of the unknown. See, with a beta guy, she's comfortable with him. That's why he doesn't get laid a lot. That's why he has to beg and and negotiate and pay. You know, a masculine guy, look, I haven't paid. I haven't. I paid for sex one time in my entire life when, it, when I was in Dubai in the Navy. And ever since then, I've never done that shit. I've never had to. Because nobody ever told me I had to do it. So, you know, until I went in the Navy and I saw everybody doing it. So I'm like, what's this about? And then when I got out the Navy, I'm like, oh, shit, it's like they're giving away like hotcakes out here. So as, at a lot of times, I have to turn down women. That's how crazy it is out here today. For somebody like me, I have to turn down women, you know? So it's like, and I kind of have to like analyze, if, should I take the leap with her? You know, yes or no, maybe so, or, you know, if I have to put too much thought in, but here's my philosophy. If I have to put too much thought into it, I don't do it. I don't take the I don't take the leap. That's my philosophy though, because I look at it like it should be organic, it should feel natural, it should feel like a, a natural flow of things. 
you know, there should be no red flags or anything like that. Now that's what that's where true masculine masculinity comes in. And you got a lot of women that raise their boys to function uh kind of like you know don't be too much of this don't be too much of that you kind of gotta don't ruffle no feathers that's uh, they raise their kids to be full of scarcity basically you know it's kind of like yeah they're basically raising their boys to be failures in, in in life and then when they become adults and they realize he do, he can't do shit because you didn't teach him to do shit. You taught him to be on the defense and not on the offense. You taught him to be to always think about what could happen before you even take the first action. You taught him every time, you know, you can't make a mistake. And if you do make a mistake, you, you're a failure. That mindset doesn't work. You can't really... Look, I don't care about what people say. I never really cared about what people thought about me, how they feel about me. I don't really function like that in life. I don't... I'm not trying to be liked. I'm not running for office anytime soon. And it's probably not going to ever happen. You know... So, see, a lot of women kind of live in a little fantasy world where it's like, you know, they see stuff on television and they kind of want to uh, kind of model what they see on television. But that doesn't work like that in real life. In real life, people have problems that they have to solve. Things happen out here. You know, everyone's not going to kiss your ass. People are going to say no sometimes. Everyone's not going to say yeah. Everyone's not going to like how you look. You're not going to get promoted just because you slept with somebody at work. It's just not going to... In real life, it just doesn't work like that. You know, just because you're from, you went to a certain college, you're from a certain family, you live on a certain side of town that doesn't really mean you're going to prosper because of that I mean, it's nothing is guaranteed except that you're gonna die one day you know so a lot of women really have a problem with masculine men and, and another thing you have to realize it's always been a kind of like a riff with uh certain groups of women in almost every society really you know because a lot of women have this thing against uh certain men of power or certain men of power with influence and it's like they just can't stand that certain guys have it the way they have it that have the power and influence that they have and they just want to destroy it you know, they just want to destroy, destroy these guys. They just want to do away with them at all. Period. So it's always been that that type of those groups of women out here. Back then, they didn't call it feminism. You know, or, or radical fem feminism. They didn't really call them that. They didn't call them feminists. They didn't really call them that. But it's always been those types of women out here. Those type of groups out here. And it's more of a, really a jealousy type thing, really. You know, it's not really about female empowerment. Because if it was about female empowerment, they wouldn't want to do away with uh, the traditional marriage or the traditional relationship. They want to destroy that shit today. You know, it's like, when you hear a lot of these women talking about uh, women's rights and and all that crap, they're not, they don't care about, really care about women. They just want to be able to, oh, let me tell you all I hear. All I hear a lot of these women talk about 
they just want to be able to do what they want to do without being judged and no consequences and it's not going to affect their lifestyle and they just want to be able to have sex with as many people as they want man woman child whatever that's really all they talk about really i don't hear them talk about no income no career i don't hear them talk about any of that stuff they just talk about sex they talk about being judged and talk about not uh people not discriminating against me because of what i've done so it's really all based on sex really they don't really care, they don't care about no marriage they don't care about no kids I don't, I don't even think most of these women really care about men. Most of these women are either in the closet or just flame bold, just lesbians, you know. But a lot of these women are married too, you know. And some of them have open relationships and whatever type of relationships they had that's, that's open. You know, some of these relationships I don't even know about and don't even understand and don't care to know about but i know a lot of women try to have they want to have it their way they want two to three guys you know the the provider the emotional support guy and the guy that blow their brains out when it come to sex that blast them you know see and the reason why they want it like that because they want to maintain control they, they, they want to control everything. But see, see the masculine guy, they can't control him. No. No. The masculine guy is, she's going to lose uh, uh, control in his presence. And she knows this. Most women know this, you know. And on some, like, like I said, on some levels, most women are afraid to be around masculine guys. Because they can't be the shot, the so-called shot caller in his presence. Because of his aura, his presence, his energy. She f feeds off that. She secretly wants that. But she doesn't know how to handle that. So it's kind of like a gift and a curse for a lot of these women. This is why they, they s secretly have to be around masculine men at some point. Whether it's a couple of hours, a couple of days, once a month, whatever. But they have to be in the presence of a masculine man. If they've been around a beta guy for days and days. And I've met a lot of women that's like this. I've met a lot of women that I can just tell they, it's been a, they just don't be around a lot of guys like me. Masculine guys. They be around the beta guys that they can pretty much wear the pants and tell them what to do and when they come around me i can just sense the thirst you know they just this this they love being around me you know it's like they can't get enough of whatever energy i'm giving off to them you know they just can't can't get enough so, hey, it is what it is. So, if you like what you heard, subscribe, share this video, check out my book, Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.